এডুকেশন from chapter 4 akhlaq on lesson 12 about cleanliness dear students you open your islam and moral education book at page number 165 about cleanliness dear students cleanliness is the most important matter to be good human being dear students cleanliness there are many types of it such as cleanliness of mind cleanliness of body cleanliness of our dress cleanliness of our overall environment so today i will discuss on cleanliness that means purity my dear students you follow my paper now chapter 4 lesson 12 cleanliness my dear students a clean nice and tidy condition is called cleanliness in other words to keep body mind and other usable articles nice and pure and free from dirt and disorderly condition is called cleanliness my dear students the arabic synonym word is annazafat tell with me nazafat this is the arabic synonymous word of cleanliness so tell again with me nazafat this is the arabic synonym word of cleanliness and dear student taharat tell with me taharat is usually used in the sense of cleanliness purity and sanctity so my dear students taharat is the arabic word of cleanliness and nazafat is the synonymous word of cleanliness in arabic so my dear students now i will discuss on the importance of cleanliness dear students the importance of cleanliness in human life is unlimited to keep clean is the symbol of a muslim it is not the nature of a mumin to remain dirty my dear students mumin always stays in clean and 
pure situation my dear students about the importance of cleanliness rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said you follow my paper in a hadith rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said cleanliness is half of iman muslim that means this has this hadith is taken from muslim sharif my dear students now i will discuss actually physical cleanliness cleanliness of dress and cleanliness of environment actually one after another about this cleanliness i will discuss in my lecture my dear students about the importance of cleanliness allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the holy quran that بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله يحب التوابين ويحب المتطهرين English meaning Surely Allah loves the repentant and also loves them who stay pure Surah Al-Baqarah verse number 222 My dear students now I will discuss on physical cleanliness Actually for human being physical cleanliness is very important Physical cleanliness means keeping the whole body free from dirt including hands feet mouth teeth etc dear students teeth that is the important organ of our body so to keep neat and clean our teeth Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has ordered us to keep clean our teeth always dear students in a hadith prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said that is if it were not considered troublesome I would have enjoined my followers to make use of brush before every salat Bukhari Sharif So my dear students our nails so always we have to keep neat and clean our nails and here also here that is also important part of our body so always we have to keep tidy our hairs this is the part of cleanliness also my dear students we go for natural calls so after completion our natural calls we have to be pure we have to be neat and clean so this is the very much important matter to make neat and clean for our physical cleanliness my dear students The Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said it is uncleanliness 
from Urine that will bring much of punishment in the grave. My dear students, Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling in a hadith that for uncleanliness much more punishment will be given for the person of the graveyard. So, dear students, we have to be very much careful when we will go for our natural calls and for passing our urine also. My dear students, now I will discuss on cleanliness of dress. Dear students, like cleanliness of body, purity of dress is very important. If the dress is clean, body and mind remain sound and one feels encouraged for works. Allah the Most High says, Keep your clothes clean and pure. Surah al muddassir Ayat number 4. My dear students, we will keep neat and clean our dress and clothes. Dear students, now I will discuss on cleanliness of environment. Whatever are there around us constitute our environment. Our environment includes houses, trees, markets and shops, schools, madrasas, roads, etc. It is our duty to keep these neat and clean. Dear students, water and air are important elements of the environment. So, water and air must be kept clean. My dear students, easily we can understand about the importance of cleanliness now. So, my dear students, now I will ask you some questions on lesson 12 about cleanliness. You will write these questions in your copy. Then you will write the answer of these questions. Dear students, you follow my paper now. Question number one. What is the Arabic synonym word of cleanliness? Question number two. What is the Arabic word for cleanliness? Question number three. Explain this hadith. Cleanliness is half of Iman. Question number four. Write about the importance of physical cleanliness. My dear students, no more today. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.